Welcome to Men's Essentials, everyone. Christmas time is here, and so are the Christmas edition soaps from Duke Cannon and Dr. Squatch. In this video, I'm gonna be comparing the illegally cut pine soap from Duke Cannon and the snowy pine tar soap from Dr. Squatch. I actually found both of these at my local Target, so if you wanna try either one of these soaps out, your local Target will hopefully have them. This illegally cut pine soap from Duke Cannon, it's actually just the fresh cut pine soap that they sell, you know, on a regular basis. This is just repackaged in a Christmas edition box. And I really like the box art because it pays homage to the Christmas vacation movie with the station wagon and the tree that they cut down on top there. And I'll mention the box art on the Dr. Squatch soap too i really like how they've got the squatch there with the santa hat and the christmas sweater it looks like a cabin to the left of that and some pine trees so i really like this box art too i feel like dr squatch is putting a little bit more effort into making their box art look better if you're new to my channel and you have not seen me do these soap comparisons between Duke Cannon and Dr. Squatch. What I do is compare the scent, the lather, and the performance, and just how they leave my skin feeling after I shower. And after comparing all of that, I give both soaps a score on a five point scale, and then let you know which one I like most. So let's jump right in and start talking about the thing that most people care about, and that is the scent. So both of these soaps have a classic pine smell, although Dr. Squatch has more of a pine tar scent, but it's still extremely similar. Um, I think the main difference you're gonna notice between both of these is that the Duke Cannon soap is sweeter, and I don't like that as much. I like it that Dr. Squatch did not infuse as much uh, as much of a sweet smell into their soap. Now that's not necessarily a bad thing for the Duke Cannon soap because the Duke Cannon soap is still extremely fresh and clean, very masculine too. And Duke Cannon doesn't exactly mention what you're gonna smell specifically in the soap, but I would describe it as having a good mix of pine and woodsiness and maybe a tiny bit of orange. And it's well balanced. And what I mean by that is none of the scents are gonna overpower the other ones that you smell in there so i love the scent on the illegally cut pine i just wish that they had cut back on the sweetness just a little bit now moving on to the snowy pine tar this one is a lot more green a lot more fresh it's not as artificial as the duke cannon scent uh, not to say that Duke Cannon is totally artificial, but this one just smells more natural and it's also very well balanced. You are going to get the pine tar scent. On the ingredients list, they mention that it has naturally derived fragrance. A couple other ingredients that I want to mention, bayberry wax, wild ice leaf, balsam fir powder, sea salt, mica, and cowling clay. Those aren't all the ingredients, but just the ones I want to highlight and i'm guessing that a mix of those that i mentioned are what give it this scent the scent is very fresh and crisp in a winter and woodsy way if that makes sense i'm just trying to explain it for you guys and what i think it smells like in my opinion dr squatch just did a better job of getting a christmas scent in their soap the scent is not too sweet it's not overpowering it's well balanced and I can honestly say that I can imagine myself in the middle of a forest with a bunch of fresh snow falling when I smell this soap. So you can probably guess that when it comes to the scent, I prefer the Dr. Squatch Snowy Pine Tar Soap. Moving on to the lather and the performance. Illegally cut pine soap makes a silky smooth lather, but I like other Ducanon soaps that make more of a creamy frothy lather. For example, the their new US peppermint bark soap had a very creamy and frothy and soft lather and this illegally cut pine soap just makes more of a silky lather and it's not as soft in my opinion and I wish that this illegally cut pine soap had that you know soft lather like a lot of their other soaps do now I never have any issues with my skin drying out my skin always feels great after I use Duke Cannon in the shower but I just don't like the lather on this one that much and I also wish that the Duke Cannon pine soap 
had some grit, even if it's just a little bit, I think that this soap with some grit would just give you a better cleansing feeling. Now, the Dr. Squatch Snowy Pine Tar Lather was definitely better too. It was just softer, smoother, more frothy. Cowling clay is included in the soap, and cowling clay acts as a magnet to dry out impurities from your skin and pores, and it leaves them clean while simultaneously moisturizing your skin, leaving it soft and smooth. Although regarding Mika, I did do some research and it looks like Mika might possibly clog your pores and cause an outbreak if you've got really bad sensitive skin that way. I have had zero issues with that, but I just wanted to bring that up. But again, I think the combination of all the ingredients that Dr. Squatch put into their soap just makes the Snowy Pine Tar a better soap in the shower too. And it has sea salt, which adds some grit, which for me was perfect because like I already mentioned, I like soaps with grit. And the grit on this one is not aggressive at all compared to their regular Pine Tar soap. If you've ever used a regular Pine Tar from Dr. Squatch, you'll know that, that it literally scratches your skin and you can't be too aggressive when you're lathering up the regular Pine Tar soap. Because because that regular one has oatmeal and sea salt, but I do want to say the sea salt particles in this snowy pine tar, there are not that many in there and they're not as big as they are in the regular pine tar soap. So based on the lather and the performance from both of these, I also have to vote for Dr. Squatch as the better soap in that category. So after having said all of that, I'm going to give both of these a score. For the Duke Cannon Soap, I'm going to give it a 2.5 out of 5. And the Snowy Pine Tar from Dr. Squatch gets 3.5 out of 5. So Dr. Squatch wins this round. And I like the Snowy Pine Tar from Dr. Squatch more than their regular Pine Tar Soap. This Snowy Pine Tar Soap, I could see myself using this all year long. I wish they would make a mega break with this one. And speaking of mega breaks, I'm actually testing out the wood barrel bourbon make a break at the moment just to see how long it lasts so if you want to see the results for that stay tuned to my channel and i'll upload a video soon with that so i've actually made seven other videos comparing dr squatch and do cannon soaps if you're interested in seeing all of those comparisons go to my channel page and you'll be able to find them there quickly i have a playlist where i compare dr squatch and do cannon and it's got all of those videos included now, one advantage that Duke Cannon always has over Dr. Squatch is the size of the soaps. The Duke Cannon soaps are 10 ounces versus the Dr. Squatch soaps that are only five ounces. So obviously Duke Cannon is gonna last longer than Dr. Squatch, but I still prefer Dr. Squatch in this Christmas soap battle. But please leave comments, guys. Let me know what you think if you've tried both of these. Let me know which one you prefer. If you think I'm wrong, leave some comments. Let me know why. Also leave recommendations for other soap brands that you can think of that you'd like to see me review or any other comparisons between Dr. Squatch and Duke Cannon soaps that you think would be a good idea. If you're new to my channel, guys, I make videos about men's essential products and accessories. So things like grooming products like these soaps, men's watches, sunglasses, shaving accessories, just anything else that's an essential item for men. I hope you enjoyed my video. Please like and subscribe. Have a great day and a great Christmas. I'll talk to you next time.